my pleasure to have this opportunity to talk our work here. And uh, uh, my, the title of my presentation is Recovery of Fission Product Noble Metals from Spent Nuclear Fuel uh, by Anon Exchange Method. Uh, today I'm going to talk the introduction and then we measured the uh, absorption spectra uh, of the platinum group metals in nitric acid solution. And then the absorption and the separation behavior of the uh, noble metal uh, ions from uh, simulated, spent uh, a simulated high level liquid waste. And then finally the summary. <clears throat> so the high level liquid waste generated from spent nuclear fuel, a uh, depolarization process, uh, typically, it is called the Pulex process, contains a significant amount of fission product noble metals, uh, including uh, palladium, lucinium, and lodium. They tend to form separate phases as metallic or alloy status during the uh, solidification process and, uh, uh, of the waste and the caused uh, deterioration, uh, deterioration in stability of the glass. On the other hand, these uh, noble metals are uh, really useful, potentially useful uh, resources as the uh, industrial materials. To selectively remove this and separate recover these noble metals from high level liquid waste, we have developed uh, an advanced ion exchange process by using novel silica-based ion exchange legends. Uh, these legends were synthesized by immobilizing the functional organic legends uh, into the porous uh, silica particle supports uh, with a very small particle size, uh, normally around uh, 60 micrometers. And the, the <clears throat> pore size is very big, around 500 nanometers. Uh, in this workers, the adsorption and the separation behavior of the noble metals with different oxidation status in nitric acid solutions were studied. And also small scale separation tests using simulated and uh, also real uh, spent fuel solutions were uh, carried out. Uh, this table shows the contents of the uh, three uh, noble metals, uh, lucinium, loading, and platinum, uh, as can be seen. Uh, this uh, metals contains uh, many kinds of the nuclides. However, uh, most uh, of the lucinium and the loading nuclides are stable, are stable nuclides or the shorter half life, the shorter life uh, nuclides with the uh, half life less than uh, three or, uh, or one year. Only one nuclide, uh, the palladium 107, they have very long uh, half life. However, this nuclide is a very weak beta emitter. So uh, if we can remove this uh, global metals from the spent nuclear fuel and uh, uh, for the use, for the potential <coughs> industrially, it's very useful uh, industrial resources. In fact, in uh, 2008, in the years, and uh, in, Japan, in Japan, the uh, commercial liberalization process uh, a very uh, severe accident happened uh, in the glass solidification uh, uh, process for the uh, high level liquid waste. In the final test stages, uh, the glass insoluble uh, platinum group metals, these silicon kinds of metals, deposited as a metallic or alloy status, settled at the bottom of the melt. It uh, caused the uh, uh, short circuit and the, the uh, turbo uh, block, blocking. So this very, uh, very, very uh, <coughs> serious uh, accident in, in the liberalization process and then uh, caused a very uh, great uh, effect to the uh, overall process of the liberalization industrial in Japan. So to uh, <coughs> prevent and uh, such an accident and uh, to separate and recover these uh, noble metals from the spent fuel or high level liquid waste. We uh, proposed and uh, 
overall uh, separation process uh, because uh, the high level liquid waste include uh, contains uh, many types of nuclides. Uh, for example, technetium, minaclinides with very long half life and a very strong uh, gamma and beta emitters, cesium and strong genes, and also some very useful noble metals. And uh, in this work, we focused on the, uh, the my talks focus on the uh, absorption and the separation of the uh, palladium group metals. So we prepared uh, the very novel uh, absorption materials. Uh, we called it the uh, organic and inorganic hybrid absorption. Uh, we use the uh, very highly porous silica particles the particle as the supporter of the organic resins. Uh, as can be seen, uh, the silica particles has very small particle size, just about uh, uh, 100, less than 100 micrometers. However, the pore size is very large and uh, about uh, uh, around uh, 500 nanometers and the pore fluxions very high. <clears throat> so we can uh, we can <clears throat> load the organic legends into the big pore uh, of the uh, supporters. And then we get the hybrid uh, silica support, the uh, new types of the uh, unknown exchange legends. Uh, in these workers, we synthesize three types of the legends. We call it the uh, CPO N3, N4, and the AR01. We containing different kinds of the functional groups. Uh, all these groups are aromatic, aromatic amine groups. Uh, N3 contains the weak base, the uh, tertiary amine group, uh, nitrogen. And then this the quaternary uh, uh, <coughs> amine groups. And that the AR gel one contains both uh, weak and the strong, uh, tertiary and the quaternary. So compared to the commercial, conventional, legends, these new types of hybrid legends have very uh, fast adsorption kinetics and also low place droppers in the packet columns. And uh, because the very fast uh, adsorption uh, kinetics, it would be sufficient, it would be available for the uh, industrial scale process. And then due to the uh, improved uh, chemical and radiation resistance because of the aromatic uh, globus has much higher uh, stable stabilities, uh, chemical stabilities or uh, against the radiation com com compared to the conventional uh, uh, alkyl globus. And then first we checked the, the, uh, the complex uh, formation or, uh, or not uh, of the palladium group metals in nitric acid solutions. Uh, this is the palladium the, uh, the absorption uh, spectral uh, uh, in the different uh, concentration of nitric acids. And then the uh, below one is the, at the uh, different nitrate concentrations. So from this uh, spectrum, probably the formation of palladium uh, of the nitrate complex is very weak or slight. Uh, it's not significant. Uh, however, in the case of lucinium, uh, lucinium is very famous uh, for the very complex uh, chemical status in nitric acid solutions. It can form uh, different types of the nitrate, nit nitrates, or also uh, nitrocell and also uh, nitro uh, complexes. Uh, probably in high concentrations of the nitric acid, concent nitric acid concentration solutions, uh, lucinium can form anionic a natural and uh, nitrate uh, complex species. In the case of lodiums, uh, yeah. in, the, uh, in, the, in the case of lodiums, in the, even in very high concentration of uh, nitric acid, no change in the spectrum. So we can conclude the uh, uh, formation of lodium nitrate complex is not, uh, was not recognized or only very slight. Then we examine the adsorption and the separation behavior of these three kinds of uh, noble metals in a uh, simulated uh, high level liquid waste. Uh, we uh, examine the uh, adsorptivities, the di distribution coefficients, the changes with 
uh, in a different concentration of nitric esters at very high concentrations. Then we can, uh, we, we found the palladium and the lucidium and the lodium so it's completely different adsorption behavior. Uh, the palladium so it's really strong adsorption and uh, compared to the other two. And also uh, the, it is calculated by the adsorption is very strong, very high at the lower concentration of nitric acid. And then uh, lucinium shows about, uh, how, to, how to say, about uh, uh, intermittent uh, the, uh, adsorption. Uh, and also we found that the maximum, uh, the topic, uh, the, the maximum adsorption at around uh, two or three uh, mole of the nitric acid. And the lodium shows almost no adsorption, very slight adsorption. So this uh, is uh, good agreement with the, uh, uh, the spectral measurement results. And then uh, the palladium shows very unique adsorption behavior. Uh, probably right. the palladium, uh, the adsorption mechanism, we, we, we consider as two mechanisms. One is the, uh, the and the another is the uh, the uh, com complex formations, complex formations with the functional group. Uh, because we use the three uh, kinds different uh, the legends with different functional groups and uh, only very uh, uh, little changes uh, this uh, tertiary weak space. Uh, this nitrogen contains the lone electron pairs, so it's easy. This soft donors, so it has the uh, abilities to uh, coordinate with the soft uh, metal ions such as palladium. This the coordinate the group is, has no long, long pair uh, electrons. And uh, the ARG1 has uh, both functional groups as uh, this weak one and the stronger one. <clears throat> so we check uh, the adsorption behavior of palladium by use uh, uh, onto the different uh, types of the <clears throat> legends. So uh, with the uh, only containing the only weak base uh, personally, nitrogen uh, groups. So the palladium shows very high adsorbilities at the low concentrations, very high uh, coefficient, uh, distribution coefficient, and they uh, decline uh, with the concentration of nitric acid. So probably in this case, the mechanism, the, the, the dominant uh, mechanism is due to the um, palladium uh, and then with the uh, functional groups containing the nitrogen with long pairs and the forms the very strong uh, complex formations, the ligand. And then in the case of the uh, CPO N4, uh, the adsorption behavior is uh, so it's very lower at the low concentration, very low, and uh, uh, so it's maximum a peak at the, the uh, about five or six molar nitric acid, and then decline again. This is a very typical adsorption mechanism of the anion exchange complexes. The, uh, the uh, palladium anion complexes of nitrate complexes and with the anion exchange, a uh, very simple uh, anion exchange reactions. Uh, in the case of the ARG1, contains the both strong and the both and the, the weak phases. So the adsorption ability just uh, is uh, <clears throat> between these two uh, type to, to, to other legends is very uh, useful, uh, very interesting. So this, in this case, it would contain both of the mechanisms. So we checked uh, in the case of ARG1 contains both weaker and stronger uh, legend, uh, stronger, uh, I mean groups. Uh, is the, <coughs> uh, we, as can be seen, after the adsorption of palladium, with the uh, adsorption amount increase, then we found the uh, quaternary group is uh, stronger base, almost keep uh, the change capacity, almost no, no change keep the constant. However, the tertiary group is exchange site uh, declined, decreased with the adsorption amount increase. So it's really clearly the adsorption uh, mechanism is due to the weak base group uh, through the uh, coordination actions. Then, uh, based on the adsorption behavior of these elements and with different types of legends, we conducted some column dynamic adsorption and the sublation 
uh, experiments. So uh, this the <coughs> column separation experiments for the uh, simulated uh, high level liquids containing uh, some fission product, lanthanides, and also <coughs> uh, alkyl group, uh, and also uh, uh, uranium, and also uh, the silly group of metal, uh, platinum uh, uh, metals. As can be seen, in this case, the platinum, the platinum, so it's very strong at the substance. Mm. So this the breakthrough curves uh, of platinum. And then other elements, so almost no other substance except uh, the lucinium, so uh, a part of the other substance. In this case, we use the weak, weak uh, base uh, legends, CPL uh, and sleep. So uh, then the adsorptive platinum and then the non adsorptive or weak adsorptive elements can be washed out from the columns very uh, easily. Then uh, the strongly adsorbed uh, platinum was uh, adsorbed by using a, a water soluble uh, complex agent, cyolia. Uh, cyolia. This is also very uh, famous uh, soft donors, so it can uh, effectively uh, uh, the platinum uh, was effectively eluted uh, from the columns and the solute the uh, ligand substitution uh, reactions. So uh, we also conducted the second uh, separation experiments using simulated uh, high-level liquid waste. As can be seen, uh, almost all the other elements, uh, the fission products, or, and also luciniums, so it's almost no or very weak other substance. Only the palladium showed a very strong other substance, and finally can be recovered uh, from the columns by using the uh, cyolia as the eluting uh, <coughs> uh, agent. So palladium was uh, perfectly uh, recovered and separated from the spent fuel uh, or high-level liquid solutions by using the uh, Noel uh, under the change columns. Then we uh, check the lucinium behaviors. The lucinium adsorption and the separation. Since the lucinium shows the uh, intermediate uh, adsorption, not very strong and also uh, much stronger than loading. So uh, the adsorption behaviors changed with the, uh, the concentration of nitric acid. So we try to, uh, and then uh, the luciniums in the oxidation state, lucinium sleep, uh, and then we chose the uh, stronger adsorption. So we try to change uh, to uh, adjust the oxidation status, the uh, lucinium sleep to uh, the lowest oxidation status by using a uh, very novel uh, electrolytic uh, cells. In these cells, we use the glass types uh, carbon as the glass fiber uh, types of carbons as the uh, function at the uh, working electrodes. And then this recorded the uh, prototype of uh, electro uh, cells. And uh, we conducted the uh, reductions of the lucinium uh, in nitric acid solutions. And then uh, this lead line, the, the, the lead lines is uh, the solutions only the nitric acid. And then the clean one contains the uh, 20, uh, 50 micro <coughs> uh, millers, uh, miller of, uh, uh, millimeter of the lucinium solutions. Then at KPC, uh, we found the different uh, current and the potential curves uh, probably uh, in this uh, minus around uh, 200 uh, voltages. And then the lucinium release uh, was reduced to lucinium too, probably uh, through these uh, reactions. And then uh, after uh, the electrical reductions, uh, we checked that the uh, concentration changes. Uh, for example, uh, this uh, simulated solutions containing uranium and uh, also the, uh, silly, uh, the silly kinds of noble metals. So in the case of palladium, palladium was very easily to reduce to metallic status. So it is deposited on the surface of the electrodes. Uh, however, 
uh, since the concentration before uh, during the electro reductions, no change of the total concentrations. So in the solutions, so we can conclude uh, lucinium and the no lodiums is. Uh, it, it, they were not reduced to metallic status. Probably the lucinium actually was reduced to uh, lucinium too. Uh, for, uh, to check this very, no, very interesting behavior, we uh, examined the uh, adsorption behavior of lucinium before and after electro reductions. Uh, before <clears throat> this, uh, the concentrations, total concentrations, during the electro reductions, uh, the total concentrations keep the constant, no changes. However, the adsorbability of the lucinium after during the con after the electro reductions, the adsorption behavior uh, declined, decreased. Okay, it decreased with the electrolysis time. So uh, during the electro reduction process, we can conclude the adsorptive lucinium was reduced to the non-adsorptive lucinium. Two is very useful probably for the separation of the lucinium because in the <coughs> spent fuel or uh, high level liquid concentration, uh, uranium is the main target of the recovery for the reuse of the uh, spent fuel resources. And then, however, the separation of the lucinium three with the uranium uh, six. Is very difficult, was very difficult due to their very similar adsorption behavior in unchanged onto the unchanged legends. So uh, without uh, before electro reductions, we cannot uh, separate it uh, of the uranium from the uh, lucinium three. Uh, however, after electro reductions, it can be seen uh, the uranium uh, was reduced to uranium four from six to four, and also the lucinium uh, from three to uh, the non adsorptive lucinium two. So we uh, obtained a very perfect separation of the uranium four and the uh, other fission products, uh, including the lucinium two. So uh, finally, as the uh, summary of my uh, presentation, uh, so we find we found the platinum two showed a very strong adsorption on the uh, silica based anion change, especially the uh, legends contains the weak base, uh, weak base uh, amine groups, and then the unique adsorption behavior is resulted from the complex formation between the platinum and the, the weak base anion change less functional groups containing the nitrogen atoms uh, has the long electron pairs. The palladium could be uh, really perfectly separated from the simulated high-level liquid waste by this unintended method. In the case of uh, lutinium, lutinium 3 was uh, adsorbed as the nitric acid, anionic nitrate uh, complexes. So the lutinium 3 could not be separated from uh, uranium 6. Uh, however, after electro reduction, then we can change we can, we, after changing the lucinium uh, from three to the non adsorptive lucinium two, then we obtained the very perfect separation of the uh, lucinium two from the uranium six, uh, four. Uh, as for the uh, lodium three, because the lodium is, uh, has the very weak adsorption, a uh, complex formation uh, with the nitrate concentration. <laughs> so, a uh, lodium. So the almost no or very weak adsorption on to anion exchange. So it could not be recovered and separated from the uh, high level liquid waste. So it needed to uh, investigate the other uh, further the other separation method. So this research project uh, partly was sponsored by the, the China, the National uh, Natural Science, Science Foundation, and also a part of was uh, supported from the Japanese government. Thank you very much for your uh, attention.